Good morning, everybody. Uh, or afternoon, I suppose. Afternoon, just. Just yeah. about. <laughs> Welcome to this week's refresh. I'm looking at my phone, not because I'm deliberately being rude, but because I'm waiting for the post to come up here so that I can. There we are, sound like it has done. And then I can follow uh, any comments you want to make. It'd be really helpful if, as we broadcast today, you um, ask any questions, make any comments, let us know that you're with us and uh, then um, we can answer your questions yeah. and reflect on them yeah. together and explore. I think I can see from that distance that Kim is joining us, so welcome Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely stuff, people are tuning in, it's great to see you all. We hope you're having a really good week, it's lovely to come in midweek isn't it? Just yeah. for a bit of a check in, a bit of a catch up and again to just remind ourselves that when we're thinking about all these things it's important to, to live it. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah. And even when I'm preaching this sermon, I've probably forgotten yeah. it by lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so actually to pause and think, uh, Definitely. what we're going to, yeah, yeah, how can we respond how to it? How can we, yeah. And I'm yeah. always really conscious on a Sunday, it's easy to come up with, for me anyway, particularly big picture kind of yeah. theory. Yeah. Uh, and um, good to ask the question, well, yeah, what are we going to do about it? Yeah. And thank you for the question that people have been sending in. Um, they um, uh, have been really helpful. So. Uh, we've had some questions sent in about how do we put this into practice. Mm. Um, uh, why should I bother? Mm. Kind of, but it's a bit more complicated. But why should I bother when other people don't? Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, that that question of actually that this is such a wide issue, and we're yeah. aware that not everyone is doing something about it. And yeah. so, really, what does that mean? So as a result of it all, do, do I make an impact? Yeah, yeah therefore, absolutely. why should I bother? If anybody's yeah. tuning in for the first time, we're not actually worked on what topic we're talking yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> the topic we've been looking at over the last two weeks has been caring for uh, creation, yeah. looking after the planet that God has given us, and kind of climate change and yeah. species extinction and yeah. putting plastic and all into the oceans and all of those have been some of the issues we've been thinking through. Yeah. Why should followers of Jesus care? What should we do about it? What's our responsibility as Christians? Yeah, so. Absolutely. And I think a really good time to do this topic, when COVID and the pandemic all came in, it seemed like the in environment stuff yeah. just took a back seat. And yeah. plastic came way back in oh, yeah. as, as like a need rather yeah, than yeah. Um, rather than something that wasn't. And, you know, yeah. So I think it's a really good time for actually, no, this is still an issue. We yeah. still need to give it attention. And you know, one of the encouraging things I take from it was that when we were hit by a pandemic, the whole world kind of pulled together. Mm -hmm. I know there was kind of arguments and mm -hmm. disagreements, but, but more or less as a world, we have yeah. thrown money at it. Yeah. We've thrown, the government has made massive radical changes yeah. that affect people's lives. Yeah. This is a problem we need solving. We're going to just throw everything at it and work together. Um, yeah. And, you know, I know it's, we're, it's a long time, but we're making progress. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. it be wonderful if, uh, this really yeah. big problem we're facing as a world, we got together and said, we did something about it. We can, yeah. we can, uh, you know, yeah. it had a radical impact on how people travelled, air yeah. travel went down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I guess one of my thoughts is if we can do that for a pandemic, yes. can we do it for this for huge problem that's affecting? Mm. Um, so that's, that's um, good to see you all joining in. Yeah, if thank you. You've got some questions about caring for creation, which um, have cropped up over the last couple of weeks. Uh, Martha preached two weeks ago and me on Sunday. Um, do um, share those questions. Yeah. Thank you for those who sent them in. We've got a little um, print off of some questions yeah. there. Should we begin by um, worshipping God? And, Absolutely. And this psalm, uh, to me, reminds us of the beauty of creation. Um, so let's read Psalm 148, near the end of your psalms, about the middle of your Bible. Do feel free to find that. Um, how should we do that? Do you want to read the first half of each verse, Martha? Yeah. And I'll respond with the second half. Yeah. And feel free to join in at home. So, Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights above. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his heavenly hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens, and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for at his command they were created. 
and he established them forever and ever. He issued a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth. You great sea creatures and all ocean depths. Lightning and hail, snow and cloud. Stormy winds that do his bidding. You mountains and all hills. Fruit trees and cedars. Wild animals and all cattle. Small creatures and flying birds. King of the earth and all nations. You princes and all rulers on earth. Young men and women. Old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is exalted. His splendour is above the earth and the heavens. And he has raised up for his people a horn. The praise of all his faithful servants, of Israel the people close to his heart. Praise the Lord. That's, um, I love that psalm because it reminds us that um, all of creation, God made all of it yeah. for his glory yeah. and we're part of that. We can so often think of ourselves as the most important part of that. Mm. And I think we were saying last week the importance of first being humble. Yes. Uh, Realising what a tiny part of this massive creation yeah. we are and not to get above yeah. ourselves. Yeah. And actually when we take that step of humility that being, you know, I'm a tiny part of this. Yeah. Then I can think, isn't it amazing that God loves me and cares yeah. for me? Um, yeah. What can I do? Yeah, yes, to absolutely. Yeah, isn't respond amazing? to he's, that. He's led us, He's given us this creation yeah. to look after. What an amazing privilege. Yeah. How can I do it well? And do you know something for me during, the, especially the start of lockdown, where we, we couldn't do much, but yet this one amazing, fun thing we could do was just go and spend time outside. And I remember chatting to our young people and some of our volunteers as well, yeah. all sorts of ages, just going on walks and realising, gosh, you know, actually what's making my day is looking at the daffodils, yeah. is going down to the river. Yeah. And because it is that something more, yeah. and it, it shows we are part of something bigger yeah. and actually God put us on here, on this earth, not the other way around. Yeah. And I think, like you're saying, you know, it's so important to recognise that. And what a time now to recognise. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Just to stop and say, wow. Yeah. What a beautiful world. Thank you, God. Yes. Um, yeah. 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 And then what does that look like when we're in our everyday? And, yeah. and what do we do about it? Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, we can, um, you know, we can think of, we can forget that the world is a beautiful paradise. We're going to be joined by Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. Hello. 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 Um, I, yep, um, we'll continue to pray for them and I'll, I'll write you a letter and we'll get back to you about that. We're just, uh, Ingrid, we're just filming this at the moment we're, we're, um, for people to join in with. So you're very welcome to um, go and have a seat quietly and I'll chat to you in a few minutes. Is that all right? Yeah. Good to see you, Ingrid. Um, yes, so what small things can we be doing? Um, to actually respond to this. It's lovely thinking and appreciating we live yeah. in this wonderful world, but what things can we be doing to actually yeah. Um, yeah, re re respond to that and to, to act on that and to look after it? Yeah. Should we just say a prayer? Yes. And then, um, Heavenly Father, we thank you for the beauty of creation. Lord, we pray for your wisdom as we reflect on how we care better for the world you've given us, how we can make a difference. Lord, would you give us your wisdom? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, I don't know what questions um, sort of have occurred to you um, over the last few days, maybe as you watched on Sunday and took part, or um, again, if you're at home, do um, email in your, or put a message with your yeah, questions about caring for creation. Um, what question came to mind for you, Martha? I think the main things, well, they are questions, but yeah. sort of, you know, comments as yeah. well. Um, and I think for me, it's the challenges of, of this whole topic. I think um, partly a bit what we were talking about at the beginning, a question we've had mm. in of how can I... Um, well, we had, what's the point of me caring if others don't care? Yeah. I think for me, a question on top of that is, how can I encourage others to care? Yeah. 
Yes. And by others, I mean people on my street, I mean friends, and then yeah. beyond that, the government and decision makers. Yeah. How do I encourage them to care? Yeah. I think it's quite a big question for me. I'd be lovely to hear what your questions are as well. Yeah. Um, that kind of sums up those that we've I printed yeah. up some of those. And they, um, yeah, others will undo the good that I do. Mm. Can I make a difference? Mm. Sometimes a topic can seem so vast. Mm. So I just wonder, firstly, can I make a difference? Um, I think, well, why should I? I think, I wonder whether the first thing is, actually, I should do the right thing because it's the right thing. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I, I, want, I want to change the bad that we've done. Yeah. I want to reverse climate change. I can't do that on my own. Yeah. But I should care. Uh, and I guess when I say care, I mean doing the recycling, yeah. choosing to cycle when I can, mm. making those choices each week. Quite apart from the difference it will make, but because it's the right thing to do, and yeah. that's how we care for the planet. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think you know when we can do things that we know are good, and there's that saying and expression of do, you know do these good things because it can make you feel good. Yeah. I think for me when we look at this, just like you were saying, it feels right. Yeah. And actually, more than just oh, you, it makes you feel good. No, not really. It, it feels right. It's the right thing to do. And yeah. in God's eyes as well. Yeah. It's, it's um, doing it because of our faith, because we believe we need to protect yeah. this earth, but also because we just know it is the right thing to do. Yeah. Um, I it, guess if yeah. God's given us this beautiful world to look after, and I, yeah. if I know that I'm doing things that are harming it, then it's just right to stop doing yeah. those things. Now that's complicated. It's really complicated. <laughs> because there are so many systems yeah. we're part of. Yeah. Well, I think that would be another question. Yeah. A question that I, I would have and a lot of other people would have is, where do I start? Yes. Um, and, and what small things can I do? And, yeah. and do those, that's loads of questions, <laughs> do those small things yeah. really make a difference? Yeah. You, you know, um, I think that's a challenge for yeah. us all. Um, so, yeah. well, I guess the, I think, we do the right thing because it's the right thing. Now, what, what, are the, what are the things we can do? This week has been cycle to school week. Mm. That seems like a small gesture to, to put the car in the garage yes. and to walk if I yeah. can or to cycle when I can. Yeah. Um, but if that becomes a habit for me, then... I am not contributing to the problem mm. for those times. Mm. Um, and I wonder whether there's something there also about being a witness and a catalyst. Yeah. Yes. So the yes. more people, for instance, that choose to cycle or walk, the easier that cycling and walking becomes, become. the easier the choice Absolutely. becomes. Absolutely. And that's yeah. recognised. And if you, if you work in London, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. most of us probably can't cycle there. Yeah. But, it, but yeah. those local journeys that we can make, Yes. Up. Some people are unable to cycle for all kinds of health reasons, yeah. or whatever. But if I can make that decision, yes. And yeah. if I can't do that, what else can I do? Yeah. It's that as well, isn't it? And um, I think from from a sort of well, fairly young person's kind of point yeah. of view um, as well. And um, it's the fashions, it's the products, yeah. it's all that sort of stuff as well that I think can be quite a challenge. Um, and shopping, food shopping. Yeah. We, you know, and actually the amount of food that we buy that we have, we don't really have much choice. It's wrapped in plastic. Yeah. Um, and I think that can be a challenge, but it's just making ourselves aware there are ways yeah. where maybe we can cut back on certain things or that we can buy an alternative thing that's yeah. more eco-friendly. Um, and it's a challenge. It's a challenge money-wise. It's yeah. a challenge in other ways. Do you think um, it's all kind of maybe quite nebulous at the moment? You know, like there's plastic to worry about, and yeah, then there's, yeah, yeah. there's climate change yeah. and global warming yes. and driving and cycling yeah. and travelling. And it's a whole, that, like was said in our questions, it's yeah. so vast. Yeah. Yeah. And therefore, then I've maybe may tempted to think, well, where to start? Yeah. And maybe um, the way to eat an elephant, not that you should, um, <laughs> <laughs> is in small pieces. So yeah. actually, to take the. So Absolutely. Is there a habit? Is there something I can begin doing this week that could become a habit? Yeah. Um, and and I think seven billion people taking those small steps. Yeah. Um, yeah. Could make a difference. Yeah. Or well, would make a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, th I think I think maybe step one is caring. Yes. And finding out what are the things that 
I'm doing that is damaging, like you're mentioning mm. clothes shopping. Yeah, yeah. Um, do, uh, what do I know about that? Can I find out about yes. it? Yes. Well, and I think that's the other thing is knowledge, isn't it? It's it's actually, um, the, I, I watched a documentary on the BBC the other day, may, mainly to prepare for a youth session on this topic, but actually in doing so realised, wow, okay, if more of us watch things like this, yeah. actually um, we'd, we'd then know and have the knowledge of, okay, what, what is good and what, and what isn't so great to yeah. do. And I think that's really important, going out and finding out this information. Because yeah. uh, it is there, it's, it's not um, always so accessible or it's not always on the news, but it yeah. is there, and so it's that active um, researching into that. So one thing I've been thinking, I, I think um, when I do it on my own, it feels very insignificant perhaps, but mm -hmm. we're a church community, aren't we? Yeah. So there's scope for us to do things together yeah. and to encourage one another. Yeah, um, yeah. And maybe that's the conversation we can be having. Yeah, absolutely. But um, I've been challenged and I have managed over the past year in a very small way, partly through my daughter who's um, often cooks vegan food, mm. to eat more vegetarian yeah. food, more vegan food, to eat less, knowing that the way that meat is produced is yes. an incredibly destructive environment. Yes. Yeah. I haven't got to the point where I've cut out meat out of my diet. It's quite, <laughs> quite tricky. <laughs> I find it so. Yeah. But actually, less meat is better than yes, realising the cost of exactly. meat and the cost of the environment of meat and making it a treat more than yes. just a routine. Yes. Maybe that is that something we can encourage one another in. Maybe we can yeah. share recipes. Maybe there's yeah. two or three people that can get together and to hold one another to yeah. account. And yeah. say, how are you getting on with that thing? Absolutely. And yeah, I'd love to hear your sorts of ideas or comments on that as well. What could we as small communities or as a church, what could we be doing? Uh, maybe one, one week or something, we all choose to make one step. Yeah. And, and what could that be? You know, and St Peter's Church Vegetarian Cookbook. Yes. <laughs> it could be an idea. It could so, be an so idea. Have you got a recipe that you yeah. enjoy? Let's share those. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the things like walking and the cycling yeah. and things like that, because that isn't something of extra cost. That yeah. isn't something that's yeah. particular and might be challenging to do. But you know, those those simple things. For those things. of us who can, if, yeah. if I'm going to, you know, maybe uh, you know, if I were to say by next week I'd have done three or four journeys. How yes. did you get on with that? Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think there's another really good point made here, which is that these these things are so big that it requires governments and decision makers. Mm. Mm. And what influence do I have? Yeah. Um, and that's, yeah. but you know, um, and that's a really good point, and we can feel very insignificant, but we do live in a demo democracy. Mm. And so actually, um, our politicians do care whether we vote for them or not. Yeah. And yeah. so, how important is um, a politician's stance on the environment mm. to whether I vote for them or not? Mm. And will I write to them and say, this is an important this issue for me? Issue. And to make it go up their radar. Because, yeah. um, you know, do we lobby governments? Do we? Does it matter to us whether our government is going to be more or less in favour of making these difficult decisions? Yeah. And when politicians are brave and make hard decisions, uh, which mean that maybe energy is going to be more expensive, yeah. or petrol's going to go up in tax, yeah. you know, that actually I stop as a Christian and I think, well, I'm not going to oppose that if I believe that that is going to make an improvement mm. and better for caring for God's mm. world. Um, and maybe that's something we can do as a community. Are there letters we can be writing to politicians, to our yeah. MP, are they making it an important issue? Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's going that extra mile, isn't it? And um, in, in doing that, and yeah. And they are an important, vital part of making a difference. And Absolutely. it can be really challenging, can't it? I, I, I'm very conscious that as a Christian, there are people of all different political views who are Christians. And what's one of the wonders of, of a diverse community? At the same time, on this issue, we're saying, I think it matters that we care for the world God has given us. And so whatever party we support, we mm -hmm. need to be um, influencing our politicians mm -hmm. towards that. Maybe that's something you agree with or disagree with, but we'd be really interested in hearing your comments. Yeah. They're coming through. Um, should we assemble a catalogue of those good habits that will benefit the planet? What a great idea. That's a lovely idea. So we could um, almost uh, we could make a post for Facebook. Yes. We yes. could say... Um, Hit top tips. Yeah. Here's, here are some things we recommend you can do. Yeah. 
and whether we could get enough people to agree on a particular thing that we were going to do yeah. in a certain week. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. Isn't it more being mindful of where you get your meat from, not stopping it altogether? Yes, there's a whole industry of British farmers and butchers who would argue this point and feel they're getting bad press. Yes. Mm. Um, <laughs> that, that's us saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. One of, that's, that's a really good question. Yes, I, I personally, I really respect people who are vegetarian and vegan. Yeah. I'm not, but I can see the sense of it. Yeah. I think there's, it's, it's complicated. It's very complicated. Because there's people's livelihoods, there's yeah. farming. But I think rediscovering that meat is a treat, mm. um, that looking into how meat has been, the, the whole process of production, yes. and asking the question what harm was done, as is also the case for some vegetable products which cause damage to the environment, is asking those questions. What is, what, what food is treated well yes. for the planet? Yes. And some forms of factory farming when it comes to meat production are harmful yes. and cause forests to be cut yes. down. Uh, and so it's being discerning. Yeah. Um, and I think that reflects in, in everything we're doing as well. It's doing it the right way, yeah. like you're saying. And it's doing it in a sense and in a way that protects the environment. Yeah. It's, it's right. It's not stopping it altogether. Yeah. Um, but it's just what, what is the best way to be doing these things? What's the most sustainable way? Yeah. And maybe encouraging those that do. We've been talking in kind of really general terms, and mm. David's mentioned the catalogue. What would yeah. be, you can ask the same question to me in a minute, but what for you, Martha, <laughs> what would be the kind of things that would be on your mind, the steps that you feel maybe yeah. you could be prompted to yeah. take? I think with me, um, just to share some that I yeah. already do, yeah. and well, I mean, from it's so funny preaching about this, and you think, oh gosh, I'm I've got to do it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Not that I never do, but it is yes. a challenge. No, absolutely right. So this week I started by uh, walking in uh, into work. Okay. It hasn't quite. Um, but you've walked a few more I've times. But I've walked a few more times than I would have done, and I think that's a really great way of doing yeah. it. It also benefits you in so many other ways yeah. as well. Yeah. Same with cycling, and yeah. I, I personally wouldn't cycle, but other okay. people. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then um, with me, it's about what products I use a lot yeah. of the time. So things like the um, beeswax stuff instead of cling film, yeah. toilet rolls that are completely recycled, yeah. um, and all those sorts of yeah. things. And same with your washing powder and, and things like that. Yeah. It's really interesting when you look into it how many things yeah. you can find that, that really... And again, it's the price and things, but when you get into it... Yeah. Um, yeah, so I would say with me, they're the more natural yeah. steps that I find apply to me more and are yeah. easier to take. And maybe it's a question we can't, within our budgets and our limitations, we can't all do it all. No. And we can't all do it at once. Yeah. But yeah. we can we can be we can make some steps this week. Yes. And actually look to turning one of you know some of those steps. Are we going to make this one a habit? Yes. You know, like yes, I like that. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try this. Can I make it a habit? And then it becomes. And then you said you're then not causing yeah. that problem. Yes. In that. Yeah. And, and what about you, Stephen? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said I could ask you. <laughs> yes. Uh, so um, again, what? I've, I've got into a habit of cycling yes, everywhere, yeah, and that's just become yeah. a habit for me. Yeah. Um, except I'm in the car today. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because my bike's broken. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. For me, me, so I've said about trying to eat less meat. Yes, and you've been doing um, that. Doing yeah. that. I think um, looking into a, we haven't done this yet, but looking into a green provider for electricity mm. can make a big difference. Oh yeah, that's a really. Good I was really encouraged last week when Jeremy Russia told me that that St Peter's Church building is is carbon neutral, which is amazing. Amazing. Uh, I need to look into that, but I'm sure Jeremy's. Uh, but he was saying that, and a part of that is through using a green provider for the gas. Mm. Um, yes, so, so that's offset. To look into. So green yeah. providers. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, those would be the main ones at the moment for me. Um, yeah. 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 I, th I think that that's a good one as well with things like drinks and food and stuff. Yeah. What um, I know there was a type of not to be, but a type of beer where their factories they're carbon negative. I think yeah. it was, and so it's like okay, well maybe choose to buy that. And a guy who lived in a you know, guy who lived in Andal, yeah. um, uh, who worked. I, I yeah, he worked for that company, and, oh. and uh, that was an idea we 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 had a conversation oh, over the table about, and I think he's involved with that. 
And I said it brought a whole new meaning to a drink responsibly. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) In many different ways. (laughs) But yeah, but about, you know, thinking, oh, okay, well, I'm going to support that. And I'd just give drinking beer as an example, but in kind of any sort of... Are there ways, yeah. Yeah, and and then your energy and and all those small and bigger... I think on recycling, I try to do that as much as possible. Yeah. You know, sometimes when... You think, oh, look, but actually making that choice yeah. to bother. And then yes. asking the question, I know that not all the stuff I put in recycling actually gets recycled. Gets recycled. So then it's a question of me as a consumer yes. to put the pressure on, to ask the questions, yes. to ask my politicians, yes. to say to the council, it matters to me. Yes. I care about it. Yeah. Um, because we st- take a step back to the big picture, I come back to the way I see it is... Um, God gave us this beautiful world and he said, human beings, look after, look after it. it. And you know, sometimes I've, I've found it difficult that it says in Genesis, rule over the earth. Mm. But the more I think about it is whether human beings, those who aren't Christians, those who are atheists would admit that human beings rule over the earth. We are the one species with the power to affect the whole planet. Mm. We can, for good or ill, we've got the power to make the difference. And at the moment, we're using that power to wipe out species. We're using that power to um, damage the environment, to change the climate. But we are the one species with the power to make that difference. Um, And so uh, if I want to say that to politicians, then I need to begin to do that in my own life. Um, We've got a good question here, which is, are we prepared for the radical changes in practice that... And I guess we talked about little steps we can take. Yeah. Um, but, but what more is there? And I suppose I've got two thoughts on that. Mm. One is that we have accepted, and it's been, I'm not saying it's not costly and not difficult, and we long for it to end, but we have accepted huge changes to our lifestyle yeah. to fight a pandemic. So will we as consumers mm. and voters support our governments if they were, and as parties, mm. that advocated some quite radical measures in order to make a difference with this quickly. You know, we've got a little time window yeah. to make a difference on climate change. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the second thing is, uh, perhaps uh, on the, the, other, the flip side of that, is that as, as little steps become habits, and as those changes become Mm. Um, over time, even if we you know mm. the, the, the changes become bigger and bigger. Yeah, uh, yeah, and I think that links back to what you were saying on talking to politicians, yeah. on who we vote for, um, and yes, what you were saying in the beginning of we realised what the problem was. We all came together, and we all worked together, yeah. and and we did it well. We're still in it, yeah. but is it? You know, we worked on it. We worked yeah. on this issue. And it's not that there have been problems and it's been no. dispute, but actually, with a, a but widespread a rec- recognition. Yeah, and and what will it take us to get this country to get our world into that position where we can have that same attitude yeah. on this? And I think because we've seen it happen with the pandemic, d- pandemic. Yes, we can. We are made of strong stuff. We yeah. are able to do yeah. it. It's just how, um, and how can we do that? Yeah. And, um, I think yeah. Christians need to hold on to hope. Yeah. We've got a good God. Yeah. That we can make a difference if we work together. And I think there's something we talk about witness and catalyst. Mm. And one person on our own, we might, but actually if, if the behaviour is catching. But, yes. But together, and we're in it together, we yes. can work together. Yes. Um, and we're the only species on the planet that has the power to make that difference. Um, That's been... (laughs) Do we have the lights on unnecessarily? Good point, David. We switched them on because we thought that it would illuminate our conversation right now. Are you talking about the lights we have on in church currently? I hope it's not unnecessary. Um, I am encouraged that the solar panels um, are are generating um, our electricity for the year. But... um, Well, and maybe David does mean in general as well, because I know that is a really easy thing to do, especially this time of year where it's getting colder and darker, and there's that temptation to, oh, let's just have the lights on. It's such an easy thing, um, an easy thing to fall into, but also quite an easy thing to change. Yeah, so you know, um, 
you know, heating, we can turn down yeah. a bit. Yeah. And just another reflection on the radical changes that are needed. Actually, we're very ingenious as a species. Mm. You know, God has given us, uh, and we've got scientists, so there's new technologies coming along, which means that the, if we're willing to support those new technologies, maybe some of the sacrifices and changes won't need to be as radical. Yeah. So like with solar panels and wind energy, yeah. will we be those who support alternative energies? Yes. Or will we join those who are moaning against them? Yeah. Um, yeah. So... We've got some lovely comments, and thank you, David, for clarifying that you mean yes. in general. <laughs> um, that's great. And also the, the yes, we can. Um, it's easy to feel totally disheartened about all this and not do anything, but the little things we yeah. can do, we can do to help. So. And remembering that we do it with God, we can do it as a community, yes. we can do it together. Yeah. And maybe we need some more reflections on how, as a church community, we can make this, we can be the, the, the togetherness yeah. that helps it to happen. Yeah, love that idea of the catalogue and any more ideas, let's yeah. work together and, and see what we can do. Yeah. 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 Great. Well, I don't know what the time is, but it's probably... Oh, it's probably, yeah. Uh, oh, it's half past, that's oh, about right. okay, not too bad. <laughs> so I think it'd be good to, uh, to read the psalm again, yes. perhaps together, um, and to pray, and yeah. I think we can pray about these issues. Yeah. We can continue to pray more generally. Um, for the situation, as we've done before, people's anxieties, yeah. uh, people's well-being. Yeah. I know of people who are grieving at the moment as relatives have died, mm. and so we can bring those things to God mm. too. Um, it can feel one thing too many to care about the environment whilst we're also worrying about yes. all yeah. these other things, but maybe um, yeah, it can be connected. Yeah. Yeah. So, should we pray? Mm and then finish with Psalm 8. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know whether, between us we'll just say some sentence prayers. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, lovely. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the sound of rain falling outside, mm -hmm. for the way that you water the earth, for the beautiful paradise you've given us to live in. Lord, we thank you for it, and we ask for your help and your wisdom to care for it well, uh, to have the courage um, to put right the things that uh, we've done wrong, and to take those steps, even the little ones in our own lives, to make a difference. Amen. Amen. God, we pray for people in power. We pray for decision makers, uh, people in government, God. And we pray for them and this issue. And we pray that this issue doesn't go away for them, that it's still very present. And we pray, God, that they can use that power. Uh, and, and we can also use our can-do attitude to uh, really encourage them to do something about this issue, God. We pray that this issue does not disappear for those people in power. But yes, it just gets bigger and we can all do something about it. And Lord, in that regard, we pray for the elections going on in America mm. at the moment. Lord, we pray that um, whoever wins that election, mm. that there might be um, a recognition and acknowledgement of the importance of changing our behaviour. Lord, an acceptance of the danger to the climate of some of the activities that humans engage in mm -hmm. and our willingness to make changes. Lord, we thank you for all those times when there can be win-wins, when we can create jobs and, um, and new technologies can create employment. Lord, we ask for the courage of politicians, especially in this regard, thinking at the moment of both the presidential and the congressional elections happening. Lord, that you would um, bring forth the courage in politicians to uh, be brave in this area. Amen. Amen. And God, we also pray for the younger generation, the generation that is growing up 
in this really complicated time in our world. And growing up thinking and worrying about what these issues of climate change and, and environmental issues will have on them if they go off. And we just pray God um, for them as well as they work through this, for children and young people, that they'll be also feel the need and encouraged to look after their planet as well. Amen. And Lord, at this um, time of ongoing pandemic, we bring to you uh, the needs that we feel at this time. Lord, for those of us who are anxious as we gather today, help us to know your peace and to trust. Lord, for those of us who are feeling a sense of loss, maybe grieving for someone who's died, would you give us your comfort? And Lord, for those of us feeling lonely, would you help us to find connection with you and with one another? Lord, would you show us as a church community how we can comfort, support, encourage, be there for one another. At the end of a telephone, physically distanced but meeting, across a screen, Lord, in whatever form it takes, would you help us to be there for each other and to demonstrate your love to one another. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah, our prayer. prayer. Shall we pray the Lord's Prayer together? Mm. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom come, come your, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let's finish by reading Psalm 8 together. And if I read the first half of the verse and you respond with the second. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants. You have established a stronghold against your enemies. To silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers. The moon and the stars which you have set in place. What are mere mortals that you are mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. Yet you have made them a little lower than the heavenly beings. And crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. All flocks and herds. And the animals of the wild. The birds in the sky and the fish in the sea. All that swim the paths of the seas. Lord our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. That sense in that psalm, both of the uh, humility we need. What are human beings that you consider them? And the responsibility we've been given to care for all those creatures. Mm. So may we do that well. Any notices? You've got some. There's a, a not only is, I mean, Sunday morning is harvest, and we're going to continue this theme of celebrating God's creation and His goodness and celebrating yeah. harvest. Yeah. And then there's another opportunity to worship on Sunday. Yes, so Sunday night worship at 6pm. And it is aimed at young people, but it really is for anyone. And it is informal. Yeah. Um, so a bit of creative worship. And it's just a really nice chance to gather together in church together. Obviously socially distanced, wearing face coverings. Um, but yeah, so please do come and join us at 6pm on Sunday if you would like to.
That'd be great. And of course, we also have our nine o'clock service in person, yes, uh, as yeah. well as the ten thirty online, and then that yeah. service in the evening. Yeah. So, um, I think that's probably all the notices yes. we need to give for now. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining in. Thank you for all your questions, comments, thoughts. Yeah, that's been really helpful. Really good. Um, and so next uh, week for Refresh, we'll continue to reflect on these matters. I think probably next week we'll be a little bit about justice in the world yes. and in response to harvest. Yes, absolutely. But yeah, have a great week. And any questions that come to mind on Sunday? Yeah, send them our way. Yeah. <laughs> good to gather with you. Um, see you soon. Bye.